Okay, hi there YouTube. Uh, today what I'm going to do, being as it is so cold, and I just got my new cabling in last night at 7 p.m. from FedEx, Saturday night. I'm going to be replacing my 2 watt wire with some 4 watt cabling. Uh, this Samlex inverter recommends 3 watt wire. I had this 2 watt wire in my home in Florida, which is why I'm using it. When I was in Florida, I never put a load on this thing, like 1500 watts, 2000 maximum. Uh, since I've been here, I have been uh, using quite a bit more power. And occasionally, over here, I don't know if it's in the frame, it's a transformer. When those batteries get down to like 24.5, sometimes it will overload the inverter. i got to shut it off, turn it back on. So I'm going to upgrade all my cabling to 4 row, which is one size more than it recommends, which is a good thing. And all my interconnects as well, and clean up some of this other stuff. All right, I'll take you inside the grouse where it's warm. It's like 30 degrees here today. I'll show you outside, it's absolutely miserable. Freezing rain. The truck and camper are actually thawing out finally. I think it up, it's up to like 35 now, I think. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, hopefully now I can catch this. What I've got here is a four rock cable. I'm gonna need two blocks. I'm cutting them four foot of length which is a foot longer than the number twos to give me some more clearance to put another layer of uh, the box of men is what I'm trying to say. So I've got them carefully marked for four feet. I need two blacks, two reds, and I got the Temco cutter and the Temco hydraulic crimper, which makes life real easy. This is how easy it is to cut them. And if you've ever tried cutting these any other way, it's a pain. And this isn't painful. There you go. That's the Temco TH002. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta do four more, and then I gotta cut four one foot lengths of my jumpers. I'll be back. Okay, I've got the one foot sections cut. I've stripped the wire back. As you can see, it's pretty healthy wire. Four out cables pretty pretty uh thick. I'm just gonna slip this into these uh lugs and I got the uh, smallest hole I could find on four out lugs which is five sixteenths and the reason I did that and really the only thing I found so far about those outback batteries I don't like is they use a quarter 20 bolt which I've never seen a bolt that small on heavy duty batteries before but anyway you slip these in and I've got the crimper set, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, I've got one crimp made. I'm going to try to do another one on camera. I like to mark the lug and the cable so they, they land plain with each other. They're all heading the same way. All right, here we go. I found the number 70 die is the size for number fours. And I'll get this around the other way. That's what it looks like. You just keep squeezing. Hopefully I'm catching this. I can't see the camera from here. And that's it. I have a manual crimper also, but I like the hydraulic one better. And you see, when you crimp them, it makes the cable really stiff especially on the ends that's when you know you got a good crimp and that's what you want your crimp to look like you don't want to have big wings sticking out that means the die was too small all right so I got one more of these two blacks and then two four foot blacks two four foot reds so not going to bore you with that okay the final step here is to uh, put on the shrink wrap which is this is uh, automotive and marine uh, adhesive shrink wrap and you'll see the glue come out when you heat it up properly the glue will start to ooze out and that's much better than just a regular shrink wrap so I'll show you that real quick pretty boring stuff actually
on the cable it actually comes uh, the adhesive comes out a little quicker because it heats up quicker over the insulation than it does on the uh, actual lug because you got to heat the lug up. Hopefully I'm catching that. It's just starting now to come up. The lug takes a lot of the heat out of it. There it goes. Okay. And that's it. You can see the glue coming out. That's all there is to it. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest and I'll be back. Okay, I got the cables made. Now I'm going to uh, swap them out. I'll show you that when I'm done. There's no sense watching me change cables out. All right, I'll be back. Okay, four hours later, I've got all the new cabling installed. And I just looked at the uh, midnight out here and it's telling me I got 24.5 volts. So now I'm gonna see if the transfer trips this. That's normally when it happens, it doesn't always happen. No, it did not. So well, that's cool. That takes one hell of a surge when that turns on. Okay, so that's it. I'm updated. It's about 10 after 4. I'm freezing. I'm going to call it a day. I got a whole bunch more wires to, to tidy up, but I'm going to try to get more solar installed. And I got to hook up the outback to the new solar panels, and I have another charge controller going on the wall. So I'm going to end up tearing that all apart again anyway. All right, so that's it. I got the new 4 out cables installed, and it should work much better. That was long overdue. So that's it. Thanks for watching.